Editing Theses Pro Bono for my friends with English as a Second Language. It was never meant to be a career option. Then a friend of mine introduced me to an editing company that he worked for and I became a part-time editor. I found that I really enjoyed the work. A few years later, Anago found me on LinkedIn and in invited me in. And by then I felt a lot more experienced and felt ready to tackle a wider range of subjects. And I really enjoy that side of editing, just doing as many different subjects as you can and getting into the uh, cutting edge of technology. You know that you are on the, that you are seeing the actual work that's going on right now, which is really cool. I love doing that. So as a career option, editing has been great because it's kept me um, in the scientific arena without having to cope with the competitive side of academia, which I didn't really like. So, but on the downside, you've got to um, cope with just, if you're working from home, you've got to cope with, dist with distractions and other people being around. So you've got to be quite disciplined. And, but keeping your own hours, being able to work the hours that you want is uh, awesome, if that's uh, what you like to do. So my free, has freelancing become any easier today? I'm not really sure because if you have the right qualifications, it's very easy to get into. Uh, if you find work with a company like Anago because they're always looking for editors in the science and technology, engineering and mathematics fields. But if you want to go independent, then there's a lot of competition. Anago has definitely helped me grow as an editor because they've provided me with steady work uh, in a diverse range of subjects, from architecture to robotics and pretty much everything in between. I even got a paper on volleyball once. Anago has given me full-time work and financial security. They also offer higher level tasks like writing abstracts and uh, cover letters, which help you to develop other skills as well. And since starting in Nago, the quality of my editing work has definitely improved because I've become more attuned to catching details like many uh, in, uh, English as second language authors use the wrong symbols for degrees and I've learned to pick these out, pick out these little details. So I'm much more adept with some of the uh, word features now. For example, I use the find function a lot to pick on abbreviations if a term's been abbreviated uh, and it's used only once the abbreviation is not needed. Uh, the word function is really good at picking out these things and determining whether the abbreviation has been used again as well. Um, and the regular feedback that they provided me in the early stages helped me as well because it helped me to pick out my strengths and weaknesses and I've learned to maintain the author's voice. Now this is really, really important and only comes with experience. Maintaining the author's voice within the constraints of academic writing cannot be overstated. The importance of this. I never had any formal training myself, as I mentioned before, my editing experience started doing pro bono work. There were always plenty of students at universities and other uh, institutes whose first language isn't English. So if you are friends with them, befriend them and help them with their work, uh, then you can get editing experience that way. For the technologically competent, there are uh, tools out there like computer, uh, computer tools for editors, which shows you how to um, shows you how to create and store macros. But I don't really use those tools, but they're there if you need them and want them. Some editors actually swear by them.
finally don't be misled by those uh, lists of editor uh, rates that get passed around on online forums. They really uh, encourage you to go for the higher rates. Uh, but if you do that, if you go independently, then you'll put a lot of unbillable time into uh, updating your websites, finding clients, and promoting your business. Now that's great if that's the way that you want to go. But don't be worried if that's not the way you want to go. Outsourcing is great. I found outsourcing is really good for me because I don't have to worry about promoting my business. I don't have to worry about clients defaulting on payment and the work comes in steadily and all the management work is done for me. All I have to do is sit there, get the work in, get it out and get paid at the end of the month. And that really works well for me. But overall you can make a pretty good living out of outsourcing. So if you want to get a foot in the editing door, Inago is a great way to go. Thanks for listening. <laughs>